All right, geometry, one, four notes covering measuring angles. Again, same standard as before, no precise geometric definitions. Again, vocab, 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 vocab. Subscribe to what I'm feeding you. Know the vocab early. All right, so here is what an angle is. So an angle is formed by two rays with the same endpoint. Again, same endpoint. The rays are the sides of the angle, and that same endpoint is called the vertex. The vertex is very, very, very important for an angle. So the sides are the rays, but the vertex is where those rays meet. So in this picture here, A point A is the vertex. Now, there are many ways to name an angle. So I'm going to focus on this one right here for right now. You can name an angle with three points. So in this case, BAC or angle CAB. Notice that A remained in the middle. This sentence right here talks about that. When you name angles using three points, the vertex must go in the middle. So you use a point on one side or one ray, then the vertex, and then a point on the other ray. The order of those two points, B and C, do not matter. A, vertex in the center. And again, the vertex is A. I cannot emphasize enough. Vertex, vertex, vertex. Now, there are two other ways to name an angle. Uh, if the angle is all by itself, like this one is, you could just name it by the vertex, angle A. Or, as we get further into the school year, if you see these numbers inside of the angle, and they're not the angle measure, angles are measured in degrees, so there'd be a degree symbol. This angle is, uh, this one is not in degrees, this is just angle one. You can name it by that angle, or that, that number, angle one. Okay. All right, last two vocab words here are interior and exterior. So the space in between your two sides is called the interior. The space outside is called the exterior. Okay, next, measuring angles. So one way to measure the size of an angle is in degrees. And that's the way we're going to focus on here. If you take further math, you might do what's called radians. So we need to understand that when you measure an angle, it's not about the length of these sides. It's not about length. Segments are length, right? These are rays. You actually can't measure the ray because it goes on forever. What we're measuring is the angle in between these two rays, right? How open this angle is. So this angle is open 62 degrees. Now to write that in symbolic form, we would write just like this. The measure of angle A equals 62, and I'm going to throw the degree symbol there. I would ask that you use degrees when you write it. Uh, this book, they assume it's in degrees, so they don't write it. But notice that little M in front of the angle, that stands for measure, okay? And again, this would be an acute angle, um, less than 90 degrees. Uh, and again, that's why the 62 degrees is right there. Now, this contraption right here is called a protractor. A protractor is what we use to measure angles. When you measure an angle using a protractor, one of the sides lines up with zero. So this is zero here. We're lining up OB along that zero. And then we allow the other side to hit the protractor somewhere else. Now, this is an obtuse angle, this angle AOB. Uh, it goes beyond 90. So we're going from zero, past 90, 100, 110, 120, and it lands right between 120 and 130. So this angle is a 125 degree angle, this obtuse angle. So over here, the measure of angle A, O, B, equals 125 degrees. That's how I'd write it. Nice. Okie doke. Next slide here. Uh, we're going to talk about the types of angles. So there are three basic type or four basic types of angles. You have acute angles, which are between zero and ninety. Think of a puppy. How cute a puppy is! Really small. That's acute. We have right angles. Right angles have this right angle box, and they're ninety degrees. This is an important angle. Right angles. Notice the right angle box. That's typically what you're going to see, not the ninety degrees. So know that that means ninety. Obtuse angles between ninety and one eighty. Um, and then you have your straight angle, which is 180 degrees. Straight angles are also lines, right? And again, this is important. You'll see that often. You need to know that a line is 180 degrees. 
Okay, we're going to pause there. I'm going to make a second video, second video for the uh, second part of this lesson.